Hey, welcome back to JNR Music and Computer World here in New York and Brett Hamilton. If you're in the market for a home theater receiver these days, a bunch of things that you want to look for, but a couple come to mind right away. First of all, HDMI inputs. They're crucial because everything that's out right now, Blu-ray player, your cable box, uh, satellite receiver, all of that goes into the receiver through an HDMI. We've got you taken care of there. And also, the ability to plug in your iPod and enjoy all that music from the iPod through your sound system. Well, now you can do all of that and more with the Ankyo HT-RC160 7.2 channel home theater receiver. You've got plenty of HDMI ports, and I'm going to show them to you in just a little bit. Five inputs and one output. That means everything goes into here, one cable to your flat screen TV, whether you're watching a Blu-ray, you're watching your HD cable, a satellite box, or any of the gaming consoles that are HD now, you've got a great picture using the HDMI inputs. Also, this receiver upscales the lower resolution video signals to give you a better picture on older equipment, standard definition. Maybe you've still got a VCR. It's going to look better now because of the upscaling. This device also decodes the latest Blu-ray audio formats, Dolby True HD and DTS HD. You've got a powerful 80 watts per channel, and this Ankyo is set up for 7.2 channel surround sound, giving you two channels for your subwoofer. It also has the new surround format, Dolby Pro Logic 2Z. This introduces a new dimension to home theater listening through the addition of front height channels, creating a seven or a nine channel playback system. They've added a pair of speakers above the front, left, and right speakers, which introduces a vertical component to the sound of a conventional five or seven channel surround sound system. I know that sounds like a lot of jargon. In the end, this is going to sound amazing, especially when you're watching a big Hollywood blockbuster. The enhanced spatial effects bring a new dimension of presence and depth to the whole listening experience. Plus, you can enhance your audio experience with a UPA1 dock for your iPod, as I just mentioned. Connect, power up your iPod through the universal port on the Ankyo, and then you can control your iPod with the remote control that comes with it. So if you're sitting across the room, you want to scan ahead, you want to skip back, you don't have to touch the iPod anymore. You can do it through Ankyo's exclusive remote interface system capability. Plus, you can integrate and operate all compatible components through a single remote control. Get rid of all the clutter of all those extra remote controls, and that includes your iPod. Plus, there's also an HD radio module, the UPHT1, that brings HD radio to your Ankyo and lets you enjoy CD quality radio. This receiver also comes with the Odyssey 2EQ for room acoustic correction. It shapes the multi-channel audio to kind of match your room, to build your home theater by conforming the sound to fit your listening area. Odyssey Dynamic Volume maintains the desired listening level for all content, and at the same time, it optimizes the dynamic range. Also, Odyssey Dynamic EQ for loudness correction solves the problem of deteriorating sound quality at like the lower volumes. So if it's on, it's kind of soft in the room, you're still getting a nice, clean, crisp sound, so you don't have to blast it to get great volume and great music. Now let's take a look at what you've got in front of this device. Up here in the front, you've got your headphone jack. You've also got your input selector. There are nine sources to connect. There's room for nine sources. Over here, we've got the auxiliary inputs for composite cables, and a portable audio player will plug in as well. Last, your microphone jack, and that's for the Odyssey room correction technology that I was just telling you about. Above these connections, there's your power button, that's important, display screen, Zone 2 and your tone controls, also your listening modes, your display and your radio controls, and the last thing is the tuning knob and of course your master volume control. Now if we spin around to the back here, let me show you all the inputs that you have, plus your speaker connections. We'll start here at the top, you've got your five HDMI inputs, there's the one output, that'll take you back to your flat screen or your DLP. Next you've got your digital optical audio inputs, digital coaxial audio inputs, and the R1 jack for other Ankyo devices, so you can use that single remote. Look here, you see the component video inputs, which you can also assign to whichever input selector you like, so there's a lot of flexibility. Here's the AM and FM antenna connections. We also have the universal port for that UPA1 series dock. That's for the iPod. Below are composite video and analog audio inputs, along with the audio and the monitor outs. Next, zone two line outs. Zone 2 will allow you to play 5.1 channel audio in your main listening room and 2 channel stereo in another room, but check this out. The other room can be playing music or audio from a completely different source. Turn it off, you're back to 7.1 back in the main room. And here's the dual subwoofer pre-out, the same signal output for both jacks. 
Now, as far as the speaker terminals are concerned, you've got seven channel connections for center, front, surround, and back surround speakers. You can connect the front high speakers through the back speakers or through zone two connection for that nine channel surround sound that I mentioned earlier. Accessories for this receiver? Well, of course, you've got the remote control that I've mentioned before. You've got that setup mic. This will take care of your speaker setup. AM, FM antennas. They'll even give you labels to keep track of all of your speaker cables in case one day you decide to move it. You don't have to go back and trace all those cables over again. Another feature is the cinema filter. This feature restores the tonal balance of a movie to sound more like it did when it was in the theater instead of the way they compress it sometimes to put it onto a DVD or a Blu-ray, giving it that large theater sound in your home environment. There's also theater dimension circuitry. This lets you set up virtual surround sound with as few as two speakers. So if you don't want to go all out and wind up with nine different speakers, you could still get that great sound. Plus, it gives you the excitement of surround sound with just the two speakers. So if you're looking for a superb receiver with great performance at an affordable price, this is probably it. The Onkyo HTRC 160 7.2 channel home theater receiver. Get it now from JNR Music and Computer World at 800-806-1115 or online at jr.com.